morning. Uh, I have got two questions um, from Emma and Nicholas. Uh, it's about question 15 on page 271, so I'm going to do them now. Thank you for your questions. And uh, please keep asking questions when you need any clarification or any more explanation. Okay, so question number 15 on page 271 says, the cost in dollars of operating a machine per day is given by the formula and they give us the formula. Uh, the formula is C in terms of T, cost in terms of time. Where T is the time and hours, the machine operates, yeah, it is a T represent the time and hours, the time of operation. What is the minimum cost of running the machine uh, for how many and for how many hours must the machine run to reach the minimum cost? Okay, so the question is saying that uh, there is a machine and the cost of running the machine is 2t squared minus 84t plus 1025. So, this machine, when it runs, it, it, there is a relationship between uh, the cost of the operating, how much it costs, because all the time when you use a machine for a long time, maybe you uh, are uh, using electricity, the machine maintenance, there is many things. So. There is a relationship between the cost and the time the machine runs. And this is a quadrat. They want us to find what is the minimum cost possible. And that happened at what time? When we use the machine for how many hours? So this is a quadratic. And we want to find max or min. So which form of quadratics give us max or min vertex form? A x minus h squared plus k. So this is the form we want. This quadratic is written in what form? It is written in standard form. So which method we use to switch from standard to vertex? The method is called completing the square. So we have to apply the method of completing the square to switch from standard form to vertex form. So we can, k will be the minimum and H will be how many hours we use the machine uh, to minimize the cost, okay? So I will, as usual, we group the first and second term. Then we factor A out. Then we get the number in front of Square this twenty one. Twenty one square. That's four forty one. What we're going to do with this four forty one? We're going to add it and subtract it between the brackets. So two t squared minus forty two t plus 441 minus 441 plus 1025. Now, inside the brackets here, we have a perfect square, so we factor this. Square root, oh, yeah, no, no, before we do that, we have to keep the positive value inside and take the negative value out. So I'm going to take this out, but this is not 3. It has to be multiplied by uh, 2. So this will be negative 882 plus 1025. Now, whatever we have inside the brackets here is a perfect square. So we factor that perfect square. So 2t 
2 t sine of the middle square root of the third and we put a square here and we combine those like terms so and use a calculator have turned the equation between the C and T to A X minus H squared plus K. What is H and K? What's the vertex? It is 21 and 143. So what is the minimum cost? This is the minimum cost will be K. And that happened after how many hours of that happens after 21 hours. Okay. Oh, I answered the question. Uh, I will go over it again. In this question, they give us a relationship between cost and time. Cost of operating a machine and the time the machine is used. The relation was in standard form. Standard form doesn't tell us the max or the min. It gives us the y-intercept, but it doesn't give us the max or min. So in order to find the max or min, I, I need this form, which is the vertex form. So what method I use to switch from standard form to vertex form is the method of completing the square. So what are the steps? Brackets around the first and second term, factor A out, get the number in front of X in here in front of T, divided by 2, square it. What we're going to do with it? We're going to add it and subtract it. So we added 0, we didn't change anything between the brackets. Which part will stay? The positive part will stay. Which part will leave? The negative part. When we take the negative part out, we have to multiply it by the 2 because this 2 is multiplied with everything inside. So this is not free to go, it has to accompany the 2 that's in here. So I multiply this by 2. Now I found that I have a perfect square here, so I can factor the perfect square. Square root of the first, sine of the middle, square root of the third. Then I combine those together and I found this. Now, this is in the form of a x minus h squared plus k. Uh, a is positive, so the parabola will open up. So the vertex will be a minimum. y of the vertex, which is k, represent the minimum value. And when it happened, or uh, x when it happened, or t when it happened, it's h, which is 21. So uh, I am done with this lesson, the completing the square is done. We did uh, three lessons on this. When A is 1, when A is greater than 1, then we did word problems. Uh, now I answered all your questions. I am going to post an assignment, and this assignment is due tomorrow by 7 p.m. Okay? So please do your assignments and keep up with the great work. Please also don't forget to pray for me. Always pray for me. I'm always praying for you, and I'm expecting you to pray for me as well. Okay, have a great day, and enjoy.